Today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show where I made a stop over at the Cadillac booth and while they may not have brought many vehicles with them here, they still have a very large electric presence and it mostly comes in the form of the Escalade IQ just off to the right. We've had a chance to look at the Escalade IQ before, but in this light champagne color, it's too much to resist to go ahead and take a closer look. Now, when I said big, I meant it to cover a few different categories, but we'll start with this number. This 1000 is to reference the Newton meters of torque that these two electric motors are going to be producing for this vehicle. However, big covers quite a few other things as well. As you can see from the rear end, this is a large vehicle. And as an Escalade, it falls right in between the standard wheelbase and extended wheelbase Escalades. It's gonna be a little bit wider. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than that top end. But overall, if you drive an Escalade or looked at an Escalade or drive something similar size, this is gonna feel right at home, both with you behind the wheel and if it's parked in your garage. Let's start here on the front where we have an enormous grill, which as you know, an electric vehicle doesn't need anywhere near the airflow or cooling capacity of a internal combustion engine. So up here we have a very large shield with a lot of lights. And honestly, I love the way it looks. If you are gonna spend the money on something like this, it has to have a little extra flair. And while it won't have a roaring engine, it still has a presence. And that presence is a light show every time you turn it on, if that's what you're looking for. It's got nice lines throughout the rest of the grill to really break things up a little bit and add some dimension. If we take a look closer at the lights, these are very sharp, sophisticated, elegant lights that not only do Escalade owners expect, but any Cadillac owner expects. And if you are gonna make the leap up into a Cadillac for the first time, it's nice to have something that really feels like what you paid for. That price is important because the base price of this vehicle starts at $130,000, which is a lot for any vehicle, and it's still quite a bit for an Escalade, but this is gonna be a more performance-oriented Escalade than you'll find in the internal combustion lineup just because of how much power those electric motors are able to create but they're not able to create the power unless they've got the power on board already. And the battery pack in this vehicle is massive. It's gonna be over 200 kilowatt hours. That's usable, not gross. And that's gonna be located down here at the very base of the vehicle. An Escalade and most SUVs sit very tall up, so you might not notice as much of an impact when it comes to the overall height or the room in the cabin because there is just so much more room to play with. But that large battery is going to help lower the center of gravity, but add a lot of mass to begin with on its own. To handle all that weight and mass, we have a 21 inch wheel with a 275 50 series tire on it. This is meant to be a comfortable ride. You are gonna have a very supple suspension, but these tires are having to do a lot of work, not just in getting the vehicle to go, but getting the vehicle to stop. And again, if you're in the luxury segment, when you buy a vehicle this big, you really want wheels to match. And while 21 inch wheels are certainly large, it doesn't seem as large on a vehicle that has the wheel arch as big as this one does. If you went any smaller, it might start to look a little bit strange. And like I said, big is the name of the game. Now, unfortunately, we aren't allowed to step inside or touch this one too much, but you don't have to get very close to see the absolutely massive displays. We have the driver display, we have the center, and ultimately we have a passenger display to make sure that everyone has as much screen real estate in front of them as possible. That does carry on down to the center where we've moved a lot of buttons onto a touch screen, which is not gonna please everyone, but it's certainly a elegant look if you don't like a bunch of different buttons laid out. We have a very simple dial and what looks like the volume knob. Off to the right, we have the cup holders, a little storage cubby, and again, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to climb inside, but I imagine we have a decent amount of storage available in that center console. If you slide down just below the standard height center console, we do have a second row like you find in a lot of EVs, and you are able to store some larger items in there. On the steering wheel, we have a very clean two-spoke look, and overall, it's a very different design than you found in probably the last Cadillac you purchased. Along the doors, as with the rest of the interior, there is plenty of diversification of materials. We have black, silver, tan, 
silver. The grill is a really nice textured design. The lights above are a very similar design to what we see in that grill. And we also have your seat adjustments here on the door, as well as your two position memory, heated, ventilated, just about everything you could ask for, which again, you would expect at this price point. The driver isn't the only one who gets to enjoy some of the luxuries of the vehicle. We do have two rear displays for the outboard seats here in the second row, as well as their own screen to make some adjustments. I imagine to things like their heated and cooled seats, as well as the temperature for the rear climate. They have a very similar center console to the front seats with some cup holders just in front of those screens, as well as a little storage slot and another storage compartment behind. The captain chairs here in that second row also feature the same sort of speakers in the headrest that we find in the front. And if you are relegated to the back, don't worry, there is still some room, but obviously it's not the same total luxury experience that you get from the front. Cadillac is looking for you to be able to load up and drive away in this vehicle towards the end of the year, look closer to Q4, and hopefully in not too much time, we're able to get our hands on this vehicle, spend some time behind the wheel, and tell you a little bit more about what you should expect if this is on your shopping list. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Follow us on all our social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, X, any other social places, we'll probably be there. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.